One of my clients reached out to me recently with a challenge. They're creating a series of 360 degree video tutorials that require closed captioning and they couldn't find the solution to add closed captioning with a 360 degree video slide or a 360 degree video project and I couldn't at first either. So I've been working on this and I finally figured out a workaround. Hopefully though Adobe comes out with a solution that's going to make 360 degree video um, compatible with closed captioning in the future. But for right now, let's take a look at this process here, this workflow. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, take my 360 degree video that I have up on my screen here. I already have my captions in a separate text file and I need to separate the audio from this particular video. So I'm going to bring in Adobe Media Encoder and I'll drag this video over to the queue. In this case here, I just need to change the, the type of conversion that I'm doing here. So I'm going to change it from the default for me, which is uh, MP4 video to waveform audio. And this will allow me to extract just the waveform, just the audio file from that video. Um, I'm going to put it in the same location. We'll just click on OK and I'll go ahead and start the queue. So once that's done, I can close Adobe Media Encoder. I won't need it any longer. You can see the files right here on my desktop. So the next thing I need to do is I'm going to add that 360 degree video with the audio still intact to this particular slide. So we'll navigate to where that's located on my computer. I'll select it and we'll click on open. And you can see here's that 360 degree video. This is from a demo I did back in the summer uh, when I was first trying out uh, one of the cameras that's available. Now you'll notice that if I go to the window drop down menu, slide notes is grayed out. That's normally where I would go to start adding closed captioning. But in this case here, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go to the properties inspector and select the options tab and add that extracted audio that I just extracted a few moments ago to this slide. Um, I'll see, see my slide audio window here and we'll just import that narration file just as if we were importing a narration file for any other Adobe Captivate project and we'll open that up here. Now the advantage of importing an audio, even if we, an audio file, even if we don't end up using it, we certainly can use it as a way of adding the closed captioning to this particular slide. Let me resize this uh, window here. And what I can do now is I can open up that text file that I have with all my captions in it. It's a short video. I'll copy the first sentence. And we'll just pick a point on the timeline where that starts. We'll click the plus icon and I'll paste in that uh, particular sentence into my closed captioning here. Now I'll hit play. So I'll pause at that point here. And we'll just get the second sentence from that, uh, that file. And we'll click the plus icon. And I'll insert that. And uh, we'll go ahead a little bit here and see if we can find the next sentence. So right about there. And we'll select the final sentence. Copy that. And I'll click plus And click insert there. And so I can save this at this point. It's asking me to extend the display time uh, to 30.3 seconds. I think the video is close to that. Uh, I'd say go ahead and hit yes. And uh, the other thing that you're going to want to do while you're on this page is probably set up the closed captioning settings at this point. So I'm going to go in here and the first thing I need to do because the 360 degree uh, play bar doesn't show a closed captioning button. I'm going to force open the closed captioning option and we're just going to make some choices here so that the, this looks fantastic. Um, I'm going to change the color of the font 
and uh, we'll choose the background to be you know a dark color to contrast that uh, lettering here I'm going to change it to be um, let's say top left and we'll make the width be 100 and I'll just center the text in the middle of that there we'll click apply we'll click close and that's pretty much good to go I'm now going to mo move over to the edit tab and very carefully I'm going to select all but a little bit of the audio at the beginning and the end here because I don't want two audio tracks I'm just going to now make all of this silent and make sure that there is no competing audio um, and then I'll hit save and then we'll hit close at this point here let's do a preview and make sure that this all works I'll do a project preview and so here we go And as you can see, I have my closed captioning. Uh, obviously, the 360 degree still works, so users will be able to scroll around and see the entire environment, but also have the closed captioning appear on the screen as well. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.